This is the CG150 Dust Control Wall Chaser. It is specifically designed for cutting double slots and channels in reinforced concrete, brick, and similar materials. It is fully compatible with European Union CE, CB, and EMC standards. The machine comes complete with all necessary spacers, a pair of 150mm diamond blades, and a chisel in this sturdy blow molded case. When using two blades, the remaining material between the two cuts is then chiseled away. You can also mount five blades, which will clear a roughly 23mm wide channel in a single step. This is especially convenient because there is little cleanup necessary afterwards since the dust and debris will be sucked into the vacuum cleaner during the cutting process. It is also ideal for making accurate pre-cuts for door and window cutouts with a single blade fitted. The maximum depth of cut with 150mm blades is 50mm and the maximum channel width with two blades is 47mm. It can cut to 25mm of the edge of the floor or ceiling. The 2500 watt high efficiency motor has soft start and full electronic thermal and overload protection. It features constant speed circuitry for maximum efficiency. There is also an LED load indicator light for optimizing cutting efficiency with overload and overheat warning. It glows green when operating within the proper load range, flashes red when approaching overload, and glows solid red to indicate overload or overheat. It's meant to always be used with a vacuum cleaner and is specially designed for maximum dust control with vacuum port, fully enshrouded blades, and a brush on the base. The six multi-location guide wheels allow smooth guidance even when the work surface is slightly uneven. The switch trigger, trigger release, and plunge release lever are large and easy to operate. The switch operative element is a sealed reed type switch which is completely impervious to dust. The handles and controls are designed for a variety of handholds for vertical and horizontal cutting. The machine always cuts in the forward direction relative to itself, so vertical cuts are normally made from the top down while holding the machine from the front. Depth of cut is accurately controlled by the graduated depth adjuster. The sighting notch allows precise guidance along the cutting line. This notch corresponds to the innermost blade. Normally this is the notch which you will use. The laser is also useful for cutting a perfectly straight line. It points to precisely 50 millimeters to the side of the cutting line. So for a vertical cut, mark a line on the floor 50 millimeters from the cutting line and keep the laser aimed at that point. The base has slots for use with the optional guide rail system. This makes cutting perfectly straight lines easy. For maximum precision, the guide rail can be screwed to the wall. Only use the recommended type countersunk screws as supplied with the guide rail. To change the blades, press the limit pin to open the base. Flip up the tab on the tool-free arbor screw and loosen. The first blade always goes directly on the arbor. Note the direction arrow. Choose spacers to give the desired channel width. They are in sizes 15, 10, 6, there are 2, and 4 millimeters. Then mount the second blade. Use the remaining spacers to fill the arbor, then thread on the arbor screw. Grab the blade and tighten the tool-free arbor screw, then flip the tap down. Press the limit pin to close the base. If you are mounting five blades, start with the first blade directly on the arbor. Then one 3.1 millimeter spacer. And alternate blade and spacer until all are in place.
Then add enough spacers to fill the arbor. Then add the arbor screw. 